Dynamite little 24 RL XL Wildwood landing here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Comes in just a bit over the 5,300 pound mark, which makes it ideal for things like half tons or a bigger expedition. That's what's really nice about this one. If there's just one or two of you, you got a bigger SUV, you don't got to give up your daily driver just to go camping, you know? This one it has a really cool combination of being carpetless with just big windows. It's a smaller camper. I think it's less than 28 feet, actually but extremely towable with still looking and feeling like it's got big space inside. And I tell you what, Wildwood is really trying to threaten for the uh, the title of best in class storage because they did some really creative things. In every room of this RV, there's way more storage than you would think is coming. This is a, this is a fantastic camper. Now I'm trying out some new audio equipment today, walking around out here in the wild like this. I've, I've had, I've, I've had a, a struggle. So. If it sounds good, if it sounds bad, I don't care either way. If it sounds bad, I am sorry. I'm doing my best to always constantly improve for you folks, and I need your feedback to do that. Speaking of which, I'm the camper. If you like it, if you hate it, if you have a question, if you'd be curious about something different, let us know that too. Now, like I said, one of the best qualities of this one is that it's a smaller camper, easy towing, but it has a really big living room feel, and a lot of it has to do with all these windows. The thing is, they're so extreme, my camera really fights with them, and I've recently upgraded to something that's really well designed to handle light, dark extremes. It's just, there's a ton of sunlight pouring directly in here. So, before we step outside, I will take a minute, I will open all these shades up so you can see what I mean, because, folks, you could be wearing sunglasses inside on this one. One of the areas I really want to talk about those shades is if we are sleeping some guests, because this is mostly, I think, a singles or a couples camper, but both the sofa and the U-dinette that you'll see, they can both fold down into little extra sleepers. They're not big. The, the dinette is larger. It would be a little bit better for adults, but it's a, you know, it's, it's like a you and me kind of camper that has some maybe, uh, you know, decent guest capacity, but oh man, I'll tell you what, it has a lot of storage. Remember when I said they were threatening for best in class storage? Things like an extra shelf up there. That is like not even the appetizer for all the good things they're gonna do here. Now down below the countertop, like one of the things that I try to pride myself on is giving what I think is fair feedback. What they're doing here with that panel is they're protecting the water heater so that shifting cargo doesn't smash it. Personally, I think I would shave that back a little bit and angle it back to give me some wastebasket space. I think that that's something that would cost zero dollars that they probably could have done better, but that is just, if that's the worst I have to say about this camper, they're doing fantastically. And I hope you appreciate the, you know, the transparency and the candor that I, I'm willing to share here. Not just saying, ooh, ooh, this is always the best one ever. This is a great camper with great qualities. But I, I want you to really get a good, fair idea of what you're getting for your money here. That's what you get from our family-owned and operated place. Now we're really starting to dig into the storage space. Wildwood loves those totes. Those are food safe, by the way. So if you want to keep some graham crackers or something in there, you know they're not going to get contaminated by a, a cheap plastic kind of, uh, you know, well, contamination. I guess I guess I don't know enough words for that. <laughs> That'll go in the highlight reel. And... They don't do it on just one side or the other. Now here's a really cool thing you can do. Keep the tote pushed all the way back there because it's hard to reach the cargo back there. But you know what? The cargo that's up here in the front, that's always going to be easy to get to. And if you appreciate handy little tips like that, just based on a lot of years of camping experience, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on the video, leave us some comments, let us know how we're doing, and call our family owned and operated team when you're ready. And this is what I was talking about with those windows. Now, as soon as we do, it looks and feels larger in here, but isn't it crazy how the, the natural light from outside almost like changes the color palette in here? Like even the herringbone flooring looks a little bit different. By the way, X-Lite Wildwoods that were in there are always ventless, uh, carpetless flooring even through the slide out. That right there is a really great detail. Something else I wanted to show you here is how all of the uh, uh, like seat side windows open, whether it's across from the sofa or across the dinette. Those seat side windows will open to give you some amazing cross breeze. And both sides of the sofa have household and USB outlets on those big stands. I think that'd be a perfect place if uh, you know you want to be able to set down a tablet or a laptop or something like that when you're done using it. All of the countertops, whether it's the kitchen, 
or over there in the dining area. They are a sealed edge press membrane, and that is not light bleeding through the slide. That is an overslide accent light, by the way. All of these lights can individually be turned off if you're so inclined. I also want to give a quick shout out here to the centralized air conditioning because that is an optional piece of equipment. That is not a standard issue item in a Wildwood X light. Uh, that is uh, the way that we tend to build them to give you uh, better, more even cooling, especially considering up through a bathroom and a bedroom. If you don't get one with that centralized air conditioning, you might save like a hundred bucks, but you're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate the experience if you ever plan to camp with the air conditioner. Uh, uh, if you wanna add a TV, Oh, great little place for it there. And an electric space heating fireplace. Little Tootsie Toaster right there. Um, it takes a lot of the chill out of the air without ever burning your propane. Fantastic. Uh, over here, Wildwood was the first mainstream brand I saw, and I actually credit them for being the reason all of these 12 volt DC compressor fridges are just all over the place in the market nowadays. Wildwood did it, uh, it standardized it first. They started growing and everybody else went, oh crap, we can't fight against that. We better get one ourselves. So it's not that I, I fault anyone. I, I give credit to the other manufacturers uh, you know, for keeping on top of the trends. But I do like to give credit where it's due. And there's definitely some worth giving here. If we pass through there, there is a sliding pocket privacy door, both for uh, the uh, you know kitchen to bathroom exchange, as well as the bathroom to master bedroom exchange. This is a 30 by 36 inch shower. Actually, I feel pretty comfortable. It's pretty decent size. I can fit in there pretty well. And notice how the shower uh, door is actually on a track. It is a curtain, but it's uh, locked in at the bottom and it radiuses at the top. So you have elbow room and it's not constantly popping loose down here. Uh, you know, causing water to spill all over your floor or whatever. That sucks and nobody wants to do that. Um, by the way, just in case you're curious, some uh, pretty decent headroom and some, some, some good friends I met in the shower space. Hey, you come here often? You want to see my Lego collection? <laughs> anyway, um, I, I also want to show you this bathroom has some good storage. Now, you're looking at this over here and you're going, holy crap, that's huge. It's not quite as big as you think, but it's not bad either. What you're probably going to use this space for right here is potential overflow kitchen pantry, like soup cans or something like that. But this will be great for your like body washes, hair care products, you know, all that hair care stuff that I don't need to worry about anymore thanks to male pattern baldness. And you're going, yeah, but where do I put my towels? No worry. You have a dedicated towel linen cabinet right over here. So you really can multi-purpose that and use it a couple different ways. And I'm always kind of curious, like this just feels like a blank wall to me. I don't know what you'd really put, what would, would what would you put there? Would you put like a towel rack or something? What would you put on that wall? Towel rack makes sense to me. Um, the uh, if By the way, if you're interested in things like a larger vent fan upgrade, don't let that stop you. Just give us a call here at Halo RV. That's easy screwdriver stuff for us to handle for you. And, oh yes, leg room. This, the leg room and this is amazing i can as tall as i am i can totally stretch my legs out and, and dangle my feet like uh like a kid in the back of dad's studebiker <laughs> more of that sealed edge counter stuff that's all you're going to find used through the well frankly the entire wildwood family at this point um the uh that cutaway right there i think that's going to be a great place to keep some extra toilet paper you know it's out of the way but it's easily accessible if you need it <clears throat> and because you don't want to be doing that uh run around the camper and then that right here this is a medicine cabinet it is not just a mirror glued against the wall i want to give you a little third dimensional look at it right there so you remember this cabinet over here you're going yeah why wasn't that bigger and deeper though because they utilize that space as it like a uh, almost like a walk-in bedroom closet that is the kind of storage space that in this class in this size this weight this price point you don't find things like that usually it's oh, that's super super to me game changer that's a game changer feature you know what else is the cpap friendly side stands that they build into these wildwoods that little cutaway into your side closet first of all makes you feel not so claustrophobic but you see how there's household outlets in there and then there's usb plugs on uh on the outside and they don't just do that here they do that on both sides of the bed both bedside windows open for airflow you can get some great cross breeze you can put tv on the wall over there if you're so inclined you're probably not putting it over here because of that sliding privacy door but remember how i said Every room in this camper has more storage than you realize. We've already seen that closet, those side stands, but we're not done. 
I mean, look at this. Basically, they built a dresser in here. So, you know, whether you could you could take those out, what would you use these for? You know, socks, underwear, something like that. You got a little shoe garage down below if you need to. Let's say you're traveling, you got to hit the brakes or you got to turn real fast because, oops, I almost missed my exit. And your car going the pass through shifts, that baggage door is not closed, by the way. That's why you're seeing daylight because I know that if I don't mention it, someone's going to be like, this is built like junk. You can see daylight. No, I just didn't shut the door. <laughs> People are so fast to jump to the worst possible conclusion, you know. Now, if we take a little bit of a look here with the slide closed, initially it doesn't look very friendly. You're like, oh, crap, Margaret. That dinette, that nice big dinette, it just eats up too much of the floor plan. But here's the thing. When you're traveling, you should have the dinette table down like I have here. And it does help if you have long legs like mine. But if you do this, you can plant one knee on the dining table, and then you can step across and voila we are in the kitchen my friends we can get to the refrigerator the bathroom the bedroom all that kind of good stuff now i get that that's not going to be an acceptable answer or solution for some people i respect that remember we have floor plans like this also from catalina and gray wolf and they each handle the like slide closed exchange a little bit differently I'm not trying to convince you one way or the other because we have campers that do it one way or the other. I just want to give you the information before you come in here, proactively notify you and educate you so you can make a better and more educated decision. And again, if you appreciate that, give our team here at Halid RV a call and click that subscribe button and know that we will always shoot you straight, good, bad, ugly, or otherwise. And despite the fact this has seen a couple little updates over the years, I think the best thing they ever did to the Wildwood X-Lite series is uh, move away from that brown, brown, and browner uh, exterior skin package. I like the way it looks. The uh, the brighter skin, the kind of charcoal or graphite accents, a little bit of copper bronze touching on there. It looks fantastic. Big storage on this sucker, too. And it's details. This is a, a, a smaller, lighter weight trailer. It is made to accomplish a specific size and price point, but not like at your inconvenience. Still doing things like the little hangers, uh, you know, for the jack crank or, or the, the strong arm stabilizer bar. That's that thing up top. It kind of looks like a funky rocket ship, like a cattle prod if you're going to, you know, zap a, well, never mind. Anyway, um, <laughs> I got way off topic. But specifically, that little hex nut adapter, it's what I'm going to call uh, the, uh, you know, the cordless jack system. So that little adapter has existed for a long, long time. You could very easily uh, pick one of those up in our parts and service center. We still have them there today. It's cool that Wildwood just says, you know what, you're going to want that. Uh, similarly, it has a simple side mount solar prep plug up there and a, uh, a portable like 90 or 100 watt panel with only a single battery on the front can keep that 12 volt fridge running for gosh, what was it, like two weeks? Something like that? Now that's with just the fridge. Obviously, real world numbers will be less than that. But the fact is, if, if you're doing things like adding a second battery, getting a small portable solar panel, you can spend some serious boondock time in this thing and be just fine. Power tongue jack on the front does the heavy lifting for us, which is a nice little touch. Uh, over here, right above our, our sewer hookups, we also have a black tank flush that a lot of little campers like this don't tend to have. We are slide awning ready, and look at the windows. You see how it's white on this side with those shades drawn? Now, with the shades drawn on the inside, it was just blotting out the sun, remember? But on the outside here, they have a polar white exterior surface to help reflect the sun to keep the entire camper cooler and more comfortable. It's really, really smart engineering. Um, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking and this is cool this is a standard thing and i i will give wildwood the distinction of best in class stability with these strong arm stabilizer jacks right here uh that it's something that you could have added after market manufacturers don't want you bolting it onto their frame so wildwood said you know what we want you to make sure that you're not getting seasick in the camper that's why we put on the nicer stable steps that's why we're using the strong arm jacks we want you to have a really good experience with our camper it's just, it's really nice thought, care, and concern for the actual owner. They're not saying, how can we sell it? They're saying, how are they going to love it? Because if people love it, they're going to tell their friends, and they're going to sell organically. And I think Wildwood gets that better than, man, better than most manufacturers I think I've seen. So what do you think, guys? You like it? You love it? You want some more of it? <laughs> um, any questions you have? Any, any curiosities? Any feedback? Good, bad, ugly, or otherwise? 
let me know. I do appreciate, though, if there's something you dislike, maybe say something you like with it. Um, it is nice to see a little bit of positivity in a day, but thankfully, I've got some really awesome viewers, and I really appreciate you guys. That's why every time, no matter how busy I am, I always do everything I can on every single camper, because I feel like, you know, you appreciate it, and I know that if I was spending this kind of money, I know I'd want to see it. So if you would like to experience that kind of, you know, family-centric service, give our family-owned and operated facility here at Aylid RV a call. Doesn't matter if you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, everything between. We only do everything. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy mitten camping, everyone. <laughs>